18 giant skeletons discovered in Wisconsin. Is this the Great Smithsonian cover-up? If you see the video before this one, we're talking about the race of white giants of native legends from Canada all the way down to uh, South America. And uh, here's one of for, for forbidden archaeology files. Scientists remaining stubbornly silent about a lost race of giants found in burial mounds near Lake Delavan, Wisconsin in May 1912. But this is not the only country where giant skeletons are taken and removed. This happens in uh, Europe as well, especially in Greece. Now, the dig site here in Wisconsin at Lake Delavan was overseen by Bello College, and it included more than 200 effigy mounds and proved to be a classic example of 8th century woodland culture. But the enormous size of the skeletons and elongated skulls found in May 1912 did not fit very neatly into anyone's concept of a textbook standard. They were enormous, and these were not average human beings, and they had strange skulls. Let us remember that, that throughout tens of thousands of years uh, of our Holocene age, our age that we're living in now, we've seen a tremendous number of ex near extinction level events, and uh, a lot of uh, homin homin uh, well human species hominid type species have been wiped out. Now here, the first report, May 4, 1912, the issue of New York Times, the 18 skeletons found by the Petersons brothers on Lake Lawn Farm in Southwest Wisconsin exhibited several strange and freakish features. Their heights ranged between 7.6 feet and 10 feet and their skulls, presumably those of men are much larger than the heads of any race which inhabited which inhabit America today, they said. They tend to have a double row of teeth, six fingers, six toes, and like humans came in different races, the teeth in the front of the jaw are regular molars. Heads usually found are elongated, believed due to longer than normal lifespan. So their jaws were weird because they had front teeth looking like molars, can you imagine? Six fingers, six toes, does that not remind us of uh, the Nephilim and the Philistines, for example? That's what Goliath looked like. Now, uh, one, must, one must wonder, how much can they lift if twice the size of an average human today? Are these the Genesis and Bibles and many other civilizations have in their history and painted on their walls? The Bible, Genesis 6-4 says, they were giants in the earth in those days and also after that, wherein the sons of God came into the unto the daughters of men and they bare children to them. The same became mighty men which were of old men of renown. And let's remember the 12 spies from the time of Exodus of Moses and the tribes of Israel when they went to spy on the land of Canaan, the promised land. They said that they, they looked like grasshoppers to the giants there. The, they were giants there. Raphaim and Nephilim. And now, uh, going back to this, now this is faulty logic to any scientists out there because he says, I'm using some religious cultural history to fill a hole in science. Over 200 giant digs have been found in recent years. Giant skeleton finds have not made the local national news since the 1950s for the most part. It seems in most people's opinions do not uh, do to the fear that people would question evolution if anything, de, uh, uh, anything a de-evolution. In 2002, National Geographic reported a dozen Cyclops skeletons found in Greece that stood 12 to 15 and a half feet tall, that is three humans uh, tall, three humans tall, one eye socket. Giants in history are typically cannibalistic in nature. The reason why I'm bringing up giants will all tie into politics and word happenings, look at the basketball hoop and add five feet to that tall. Greek mythology talks about a war with Cyclops, learning they had to bring down by taking out their legs, rendering them slow and helpless. Let's remember that Ulysses was captured by Cyclops and he had to get him drunk and then pierce his uh, one eye with uh, something. And that's how he and his uh, entourage escaped. Now here, American giants, the red-haired giants, were found with Egyptian writing on their tombs and have been found in multiple locations. The mystery of the Wisconsin giants. 
was this some sort of prank, a hoax played by local farm boys or a, a demented taxidermist for fun at the attention of the press? The answer is no. The Lake Delavan find of May 1912 was only one of dozens and dozens of similar finds that were reported in local newspapers from 1851 forward to the present day. It was not even the first set of giant skeletons found in Wisconsin. On August 10, 1891, New York Times reports that scientists from the Smithsonian Institute had discovered several large pyramidal monuments on Lake Mills near Madison, Wisconsin. The Times said, Madison was in ancient days the center for a, of a teeming population numbered not less than 200,000. The excavators found an elaborate system of defense works which they named Fort Az Talan. Quote, the celebrated mounds of Ohio and Indiana can bear no comparison either in size, design, or the skill displayed in the construction with these gigantic and mysterious monuments of earth erected we know not by whom and for what purpose we can only conjecture, said the Times. On December 20th, 1897, the Times followed up with a report on three large burial mounds that had been discovered in Maple Creek, Wisconsin. One had recently been opened, quote, In it was found the skeleton of a man of gigantic size, the bones measured from head to foot over nine feet and were in a fair state of preservation. The skull was as large as half a bushel measure. Some finely tempered rods of copper and other relics were lying near the bones, end quote. Giant skulls and skeletons of a race of Goliaths have been found on a very regular basis throughout the Midwestern states for more than 100 years. Giants have been found in Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, Ohio, Kentucky, and New York. And their burial sites are similar to the well-known mounds of the Mound Builder people. The spectrum of Mound Builder history spans a period of more than 5,000 years from 3,400 BC to the 16th century um, AD, a period greater than the history of ancient Egypt and all of its dynasties. There is a prevailing scholarly consensus that we have an adequate historical understanding of the people who lived in North America during this period. However, the long record of anomalous finds like those at Lake Delavan suggest otherwise. The great Smithsonian cover-up? There's been a giant cover-up, has there been? Question mark. Why aren't the public displays of gigantic Native American skeletons at natural history museums? That's a good question. The skeletons of some mound builders are certainly on display. There is a wonderful exhibit, for example, at the Aztalan State Park, where one may see the skeleton of the princes of Aztalan in the museum. But the skeletons placed on display are normal sized. And according to some sources, the skeletons of giants have been covered up. Specifically, the Smithsonian Institute has been accused of making a deliberate effort to hide the telling of, of the bones and keep the giant skeletons locked away. In the words of da Vine Deloria, a Native American author and professor of law, quote, modern day archaeology and anthropology have nearly sealed the door on our imaginations, broadly interpreting the North American past as devoid of anything unusual in the way of great cultures characterized by people of unusual demeanor. The great interloper of ancient burial grounds, the 19th century Smithsonian Institute created a one-way portal through which uncounted bones have been spirited. This door and the contents of its vault are virtually sealed off to anyone but government officials. Among these bones may lay answers not even sought by these officials concerning the deep past, end quote. And two giant skeletons near Potosi, Wisconsin, January 13, 1870 edition of Wisconsin Decatur Republican reported that two giant, well-preserved skeletons of unknown race were discovered near Potosi, Wisconsin by workers digging the foundation of a sawmill near the bank of the Mississippi River. One skeleton measures seven and a half feet, the other eight feet. The skulls of each had prominent cheekbones and double rows of teeth. A large collection of arrowheads and strange toys were found buried with the remains. Giant skeletons discovered also at Maple Creek, Wisconsin. On December 25, 1897, New York Times reported 
that three large burial mounds had been discovered near Maple, Maple Creek, Wisconsin. Upon excavation, a skeleton measuring over nine feet from head to toe was discovered with finely tempered copper rods and other relics. Giant skeleton in West Bend, Wisconsin. A giant skeleton unearthed outside of West Bend near Lizard Mound County Park and assembled by local farmers to a height of eight feet. More about this can be found in Washington County Paranormal, a Wisconsin-led trip by local author and investigator J. Nathan Couch. While a normal-sized skeleton of a supposed mound uh, builder, the Princess of Astalan, is on display at the site of several large pyramidal monuments near Madison called Atsalan State Park, the Goliath remains of Wisconsin's giants have vanished along with the hundreds of others discovered throughout the Midwest. Many have accused the Smithsonian of covering up these discoveries, locking the giant skeletons away and depriving the public of their findings. This is by Mark Cernick, Old Curiosity Shop on Humans Be Free. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.